shooting guard position. Number 21, Dijane Carrington. Starting at the other guard, number 52, Tayasha Harris. Starting at small forward, number 24, Dewana Bonner. Starting at center, number 42, Brianna Jones. At the other forward position, number 25, Alyssa Thomas. The head coach of your home team. Give it up for your Connecticut son. the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. And on tap tonight, it's the Indiana Fever going up against the Connecticut Sun. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. One big rule change for the 2023 season, the introduction of the transition take foul. I think it's a great move by the league. I agree, Blake. I mean, the transition to take foul is when a team is in or starting a fast break. And an opposing player fouls without making an effort on the ball, basically fouling to prevent an open court situation. And while they do count as a common foul on the player, they result in a one free throw shot that any player on the floor can take plus the ball back. It's really a big rule change, and I'm a fan. Well, once you allow Boss to get the ball inside, there's not much you can do but the foul. Line for the away team, Boston. And she can't get the first one. Now you talk about Aaliyah Boston. She gives you everything you want in a big. Outstanding around the hoop. Elite defensively. And Boston, she can even hit threes as well to space the floor. That one misses. Playing overseas, Alyssa Thomas was named the 2023 Defensive Player of the Year in Europe. Well, you know, her all-around offensive game gets a lot of headlines, but Thomas is a menace defensively, especially just her smarts. Her defensive IQ is off the charts. Out of bounds, Sun Ball has Connecticut Sun keeps ball. possession. Now here's Harris. Guarded by Wheeler. Dewana Bonner on the wing. Shot clock at five. No good on the three. They got lucky. They got lucky. And the defense is taking a big chance, leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm OK with that game plan. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. So we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball call. So it's Indiana now. Now here's Carrington. She's guarded closely. Pass to Jones. Carrington. Back to Jones. Six to shoot. Oh, yes. The turnaround. Nice feed as Carrington finds a teammate with an even better look. That's just good offense. Here's Smith. She's covered by Thomas. And here's Samuelson. Pass to Boston. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound, Fever. 
Thomas outside. To the inside. And stolen by Boston. Outside Wheeler. Now about two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Boston. She's covered by Thomas. And she was camped there in the lane. And she gets a three-second call. And so here is Connecticut. Pass to Carrington. Harris. Now here's Bonner. Yes, and a nice assist from Brianna Jones. There is no quit in Dewana Bonner. She takes pride in going up with strength and finishing through contact. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to Smith. Samuelson. Back to Smith. Mitchell outside. Two on the clock. Over Carrington. Offensive rebound. Fever. Smith. First shot, first Smith. basket. She is out of the blocks fast. Oh, boy. Looks like she was injured there. Boy, uh, that did not look good. Let's hope it's something not too serious. You've got to feel for her. You can see how much distress she's in. I just hope she's okay. And the sun making a change here. And here in the first, three minutes in. Pass to Bonner. Here's Harris. The three. And Samuelson pulls it down. Left side, Wheeler. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. The Sun with the lead. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Pass to Carrington. Jones with it. She's guarded by Boston. Just five to shoot. Here's Bonner. The 19-footer is on the money. Not only is Bonner a strong shooter, she knows how to get productive. Looks for any and every scoring chance. Now here's Mitchell. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Here's Samuelson. Here's Boston. It's deflected. Now here's Carrington. Pass to Harris. Nice to see Harris show up from long range. Her three ball really took off in her final year of college. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. Here's Boston. Rebounded by the Sun. Nice work there to contest the finish inside. Yeah, they got the shot they wanted, but her defense laid waste to those plans. Down low. Here's Jones. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Nice job again uh, that time to add to their lead. They're doing everything right at the moment. Yeah, you're right, Tim. It's something that any basketball fan will appreciate. It's just good, steady basketball they're playing in all aspects of the game right now. Special delivery right there, fellas. Just a wonderful entry feed. Pass to Bonner. Here's Jones. He's guarded by Boston. Now here's Harris. D right on her. And it's Carrington missing. The fever trailing. Here's Samuelson. Good D by Dewana Bonner. Such tough defense there against one of the better finishers in the game. Carrington with the ball. Smith is there. Here's Bonner. Pass to Harris. Over Mitchell. 
Harris can't hit. Here's Samuelson. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It'll be a jump ball. Indiana with the ball. Now here's Carrington, covered by Smith. And the basket by Carrington. Well, the inside defense tries to put the clamps on Carrington, but she makes a clever move and gets through. Mitchell left side. Shot clock at six. Fires from the line. And she sinks that one, Kelsey hitting Mitchell. the back of the rim on the way in. There isn't a part of the court that Mitchell won't let it fly. When she hits from the mid-range, it just increases the headache for the D. Here's Harris. Here's Nelson Adota. Great pass to set up the land. Those are teammates who clearly know each other's moves very well. Now a timeout called by Indiana. And we know it. The name of the game is shooting. So who is the best current shooter in the league? Well, there's a lot of them. But I'm going with someone from France. Marin Johannes, she can shoot the lights out. Oh, come on. I like her too, but I got to go with EDD, Elena Deladon. She can make those tough ones. And part of the equation is her height. It allows Deladon to get off clean looks. with it. Pass to Wallace. Now here's Boston. Guarded by Jones. Boston inside. Working on Jones. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. Now Mitchell. Harris with it. Now Jones, she's guarded by Boston. Mitchell, and she floats it in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. They keep going down low with the ball, and it keeps resulting in points. Extremely positive. I mean, that's a very nice lead to have this early in the ball game. They've come out on fire out of the gates. Here's Saxton. Pass to Wallace. And Tiffany Mitchell gets the whistle Tiffany that time. Mitchell. That's first her first foul. foul. Teams first. Second team foul. Here's Berger. They trail by 11. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Now Wallace. Yeah. First shot, first Christy basket. Wallace. She is out of the blocks fast. There was one thought in the mind of Christy Wallace. Hit that shot. Drafted in 2018, Christy Wallace didn't actually play her first WNBA game until 2022. She had to take time to deal with a tough injury, but she has totally bounced back. It's a real credit to her determination and love of the game. Clock at four. Here's Harris. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Pass to Wallace. Inside. Here's Boston. 
uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, a big part of Wallace's game is finding others, initiating offense. And here is Jones. Bonner outside. Harris with it. Puts up a three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Joanna Bonner. What a start they've gotten off to. A big lead for them, and we're still in the first quarter. And it hasn't been just about their scoring, Tim. They're playing tremendous defense, too. Well, Brian, you got to give it up for the coach as well. This game plan has been perfect. Now here's Hole. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Tries again. First shot, first basket. She is out of the blocks fast. Man, they have got to put a body on her because otherwise, with her agility and athleticism, they're just not going to be able to contain her on the offensive glass. Now here's Egbo. Foul call that time on the way up. And that'll give her two chances at the free First personal foul, teams first. A lot to handle. Egbo getting to the strike. And it's her first trip to the line. Queen Egbo. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Egmo has so many of the qualities that you look for in a big. She protects the paint at one end, finishes around the rim at the other, and as an added bonus, she loves to run the floor. Both good at the line. And here's Berger. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Over to the wing. Here's Boston. And another Boston. basket for Indiana. Nice touch by Boston. Controlling her power. And that does it for the first quarter. Sun ahead, up by eight. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And the first quarter in the books, second about to get underway. And guys, what's your take on the Sun so far? Scoring has come in threes for the most part so far. Yeah, and every time down the floor, it seems like they're hitting a triple. Here's Harrington. Pass to Nelson Adota. Bonner. Jones with it. Guarded now by Wheeler. Yep, that one goes. That's some serious grit from Brianna Jones. Never stopped working down low. Mitchell outside. Boston with it. Left side, Wheeler. Back to Boston. An easy two points on the layup. How about the agility from Boston? Fantastic slash off the pick. Now here's Carrington. She's covered by Mitchell. To the paint. And there's the three-second violation. Three-second violation. The ball goes to Indiana. And we're now about a minute into this second quarter play. Pass to Smith. Samuelson, Bonner defending. Outside Wheeler. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Five to shoot. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Chelsea, Mitchell. She has really deep range. Mitchell's offensive game starts with that three-point shot. It forces defenders to pick her up at half court. Now here's Carrington. 
Jones inside. She's guarded by Boston. Jones can't hit. They were ready for her there. I mean, just totally collapsed the D on her. To the middle. Here's Smith. And Jones pulls it down. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. Now here's Jefferson. Looking for her first basket still in this one. And that one's good. Jones. If you get open, Jefferson will find you. Mariah, a pass first guard. Timeout, Timeout called the Fever. And when we talk about the WNBA, this is a league that is flourishing. Absolutely, and the ratings are way up. It's online way up. Salaries, you guessed it, way up. I mean, everything going in the right direction. And the biggest reason, the product. These are incredible games with incredible players. The WNBA has really done a great job with giving fans what they want to see. Fever trailing. Here's Mitchell. Five points in the game. Wheeler. Pass to Samuelson. Smith. The three from Kelsey Mitchell. Yes, and it's Melissa Smith picking up the assist. That play shows you that Mitchell doesn't have to be ball dominant to be effective. She can just catch and shoot. Now Carrington. Now Nelson Adota. It's hauled in by Boston. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. That one falls. A nice run they put together here to bring it close. They really got hot, and I didn't think I'd be saying this a little while ago, but now it's anyone's ball game. Jefferson outside. Nelson Adota. She's guarded by Boston. Back to Jefferson. And she finishes nicely on the layup. So crafty in the paint. Jefferson can outplay just about any interior opponent. Pass to Smith. Back to Wheeler. That one falls, her second basket of the game. She is now two for three. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Carrington. Jefferson outside. And the three ball is good. Well, looking at the three-point numbers of Jefferson, she normally doesn't take a ton of triples, but she shoots it great from deep. Mitchell outside. The Sun pull it in. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Bannum. She's covered by Mitchell. That's tipped and stolen by Smith. Now the Fever moving it up. And counts the basket. She was fouled and she's going to the line for one more.
The Sun with the lead. Harris with it. She's got six. Bonner outside. Pass to Nelson Adota. Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. It's hauled in by Boston. And they're right on the brink of taking the lead. This is an absolutely critical moment in this game. Outside Wheeler. Mitchell outside. Hits it from three-point range. Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell's really in a groove tonight. Three points. He's not being shy at all about shooting the rock. Now a timeout called timeout by Connecticut. Yeah, the coaches, they saw their team giving up a lot of points and wanted uh, to get a break before it got out of hand. And that's a big part of a coach's job, making sure you keep your players in the best position possible at all times. That's a great timeout. Got a piece of it. Here's Bannum. She's covered by Mitchell. Pass to Carrington. Egbo. To the left wing. Five on the clock. Here's Harris. Kept alive. Nice D from Aaliyah Boston. The Fever leading. And here's Samuelson. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Pass to Wheeler. Samuelson, covered by Carrington. From deep. The fever rebound. Now here's Wheeler. Back to Boston. Second chance shot. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. First person to foul. Team smart big by Boston. Such a high IQ player. And uh, this is her second trip to the line in the game. And she makes the first. And good on both. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Harris, to the inside. Here's Jones. But they recover it. Mitchell outside. Now here's Carrington. Can they get it? Sinks the three-pointer. Tremendous vision for Mitchell to spot the wide-open teammate. That kind of unselfishness is contagious. 
Now here's Berger. She's tightly guarded. Knocks it loose. Shoots over Harris. Here's Boston. And plenty of contact on the shot, so the two free throws coming up. And there's the foul against Connecticut. What a play and attack to get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the end one. First one falls for her. She hits both from the stripe. Here's Harris. She's got six. Pass to Mitchell. Down low. Jones inside. Working on Boston. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, official saw the contact. And she'll shoot two. Teams first. Love first the team physical foul. play from Jones. Going up hard inside. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. The first free throw is good. Well, Jones is known for a physical style of play, but what often gets overlooked is her footwork, which she skillfully uses to create easy buckets. So she gets them both. Now Berger. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Here's Wallace. Good on the three-point shot. What poise from Wallace behind the arc. Finds an angle and focuses on it. Timeout called the Time Sun. The sun. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. And kind of change that game plan as well. Mitchell. They grab their own miss. Bucket is good. For a guard, Tiffany Mitchell does a great job on the glass. And she understands that second chance points are huge. And she'll be shooting her first free throw of the game.
What's up? Well, dependable players like Tiffany Mitchell really lift your team. You can count on her to work hard and produce points. Pass to Berger. Saxton. Wallace with the ball. Launches it. That's in, and she's now three for three and looking sharp. She found the perfect spot behind the arc there. A big gap in the D. And now Egbo. Mitchell. Two minutes remaining. Here's Jones. Two minutes. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Now here's Berger. Covered by Harris. Pass to Berger. Shoots over Harris. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Connecticut trailing. Inside, kicks it out to Mitchell. Here's Harris, lets it go from deep. Miss number six for her, she's made two of her eight attempts. Now here's Berger, defense right on her. Austin outside. Wallace, she's covered by Mitchell. Four on the shot clock. Wallace misses. The Sun on offense. It's a three-point game. Here's Carrington. And the rebound goes to the Fever. And terrific defense at the rim got right in her path. And you know they'll be worrying about her next time they take it inside, too. And really, that's what great defenders will do to you. Tiffany Mitchell, second personal foul. Fourth team. And this is her first free throw of the game. At the line for the away team, Christy Wallace. And the first one drops. Hailing from Australia, Christy Wallace spent her first few professional years outside of the U.S., but has really adapted to the American game. That misses, so she splits the free throws. Jefferson outside. That one, good for two. You have to be disciplined on defense. Biting on every pump fake just isn't going to get it done. Trust me, I learned the hard way. Now here's Berger. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Wallace... The layup off target. Mitchell outside. And the play stops. Whistle on what looks like an illegal screen. You have to make sure your feet are set. But when you set those screens, or they'll get you for it. I thought maybe she was set. Now, I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think maybe they got that one wrong. From deep three-point range, she got it up in time, but it couldn't fall for it. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Fever ahead, they lead by a bucket. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports.
getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. You look at Mitchell in this game. She's been everywhere. She put on a show from three-point range in the first half. We'll see if the halftime break had any fooling effect on her. Well, we'll soon find out because I guarantee they're going to keep feeding her the rock beyond the arc until she does cool off. Start of the third quarter here after a closely contested first half. Pass to Bonner. Egbo. Now Harris. It's stolen by Aaliyah Boston. And here is Mitchell. The basket good off the Kelsey assist Mitchell. from Erica Wheeler. What an incredible find from Erica Wheeler. Her passing skills bring out the best in her teammates. Looking to end her cold spell. And Harris gets it to go. Look at that move. Is she special or what? I love watching her operate inside. Outside Wheeler. And the rebound goes to the Sun. About one minute played here in the second half. Now here's Carrington. She's covered by Mitchell. Clock at six. Pass to Bonner. For the tie. It's hauled in by Smith. The Fever with the lead. And how about the WNBA debut for Nalissa Smith? She had 13 and 13 in her very first game. Yeah, after going second overall to the Fever in the 2022 draft, Smith burst out of the gates with that double double, sending a clear message to the league I'm already a force inside. Now here's Harris. She's got eight. Egbo with it. Pass to Harris. To the paint. Here's Bonner. And the layup falls. An adaptable scorer. Bonner shows the ability to outduel opponents on contact finishes. And here is Samuelson. Boston. Mitchell, right side. Back to Boston. Shoots over Jones. Gets Boston. the 14-footer to fall. Showing serious confidence in her J. Boston just so skilled. Now here's Harris. Defense is right there. Don't give her space. Don't give her space. Pass to Carrington. <laughs> Takes the 13-footer. Doesn't get it to drop for her. And here's Indiana. They lead by four. Mitchell right side. Outside Wheeler. And it's off from three-point range. Now here's Harris. Guarded by Wheeler. And here's Harris. She's got eight. Here's Jones. It's hauled in by Boston. Unusual miss. Typically, her skill on the inside trumps average defense. To the middle. Up and in from Boston. the low block. And it's the ability of Boston to score inside that makes her so dangerous. Now here's Harris. Tight defense on her. Egbo gets the bucket. The one to generate more of those shots in tight. Indiana with the ball. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Smith. Back to Wheeler. Now Samuelson with the shot. Out of bounds, it'll be Sun Ball. Connecticut Sun Ball. Checking in for your Connecticut Sun, Rachel Benham. Connecticut trailing. 
Now here's Carrington. She has five. Let's it go from 14. Here's Jones. The basket drops, and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. A look at Jones using her height on the glass, getting to the loose ball ahead of the competition. She's gone two for two at the line so far. And that one misses. Indiana with the ball. Two-point game. Smith, no good. Pass to Bannum. Bonner. It's good from long range. The defense has to at least honor Bonner's outside shot. She's happy to remind them of this fact, too. Here's Mitchell. 16 points for her. Good on the triple. Erica, Three's are. going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Now here's Harris. Two-point game. Now Carrington. Five points in the game. Shoots the three. Melissa Smith grabs the miss. And here's Indiana. Pass to Boston. Smith up top. Mitchell with it. Now Wheeler. There's the three. And Jones pulls it down. Now here's Harris. Guarded by Wheeler. Now Carrington. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Wheeler with it. Nine points in the game. Pass to Boston. Smith, Bonner defending. Here's Wheeler. The rebound by Harris. And here's Bannum. She's covered by Mitchell. Bonner outside. Carrington with the ball. It's hauled in by Wheeler. Pass to Mitchell. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. You'll see her hit very deep, but, but she isn't a one-trick pony. Mitchell has the skills plus toughness to score inside, too. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. Here. 
And here's Bantam. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Mitchell outside. Pass to Bantam. Bonner. Here's Bantam, guarded by Wallace. Mitchell. And again, Connecticut, no good. And here's Indiana. Here's Samuelson. And here's Saxton. And she banks in the layup. Here's Bantam. Rebounded by the Fever. Two minutes remaining. Pass to Mitchell. Two minutes. And the layup is good after a Kelsey nice Mitchell. lead pass. I'll tell you what, Berger is really good at staying patient and making good decisions. And a great honor for Kelsey Mitchell, winning the Community Leadership Award in 2023. Yeah, I mean, amazing. Kelsey has done incredible work in her hometown of Cincinnati. Mitchell helping young student athletes pursue their dreams, providing sports equipment and support. Here's Bantam. Pulls up on the elbow. Saxton grabs the miss. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Here's Wallace. That shot off the mark. Great D that time from Dewana Bonner. Here's Bannum. Doesn't go that time. The Fever leading. Down low. And stolen by Dewana Bonner. And the Sun pushing it up now. Now Bannum. Looking for a first basket still in this one. Jefferson. Here's Bonner. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. First personal foul. Team's nice first. job to get to the line by Team Bonner. Foul. A tremendous foul shooter. She's just about an 85% career shooter at the stripe. That's her first trip to the line. And she knocks down the first one. With multiple Six Woman of the Year awards, Bonner is without a doubt one of the best teammates in WNBA history. Both shots good from the strike. So it's Indiana now. They lead by four. Lexi Hole on the wing. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Wallace. Just five on the clock. Over Mitchell. And too long on the shot. Up top, Bonner. 11 points in the game. Fires it. And it would have counted had it fallen, but that's it's offline. Of and score. that's going to do it for the third quarter. Fever ahead, up by four. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Some floor generalship right here, guys, showing us why they're always in good hands when she's in charge. Yeah, she's the straw that stirs the drink for them, and that's how she does it with her dynamite passing skills.
And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to Smith. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jones. Jones. That's her third foul of the game. First team foul. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to hole. Another shot, and that's two points Lexi on the layup. Hall. An excellent display of strength and concentration by Lexi Hall hitting the shot through contact. Now Carrington. Bonner outside. Pass to Harris. Takes the three. The Fever pull it in. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now here's Wheeler. Six on the shot clock. Mitchell with it. She's covered by Mitchell. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Shots good by Smith. Smith. Such a high motor player, Melissa Smith, relentless on the boards. Pass to Bonner. Carrington. Now here's Harris. From deep, hits the three point bomb. I love the poise and confidence Harris plays with. She doesn't hesitate on catch and shoot opportunities. Inside, Boston. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. That's on Jones. And when you watch Aaliyah Boston, you know she's going to bring strength. Man, she is a physical player. Yeah, in season one of the WNBA, she has done a fantastic job. So much success throughout her college years. And I think we all knew that play was going to carry over into her professional career. And the first one at the line is good. Born on the U.S. Virgin Islands, Aaliyah Boston moved to the U.S. at 12 to pursue basketball. Man, that was a good decision. Yeah, that was a very good decision. I mean, Aaliyah had to go from the warm Virgin Islands to cold New England, but she thrived in the States, in college, multiple national player of the year awards, and of course, Aaliyah Boston, the top pick of the 2023 draft. That's also good, so she hits them both. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. The Sun trailing. Pass to Carrington. Great D that time from Melissa Smith. Well, this is why you need good defenders inside contesting shots. Yeah, making every shot a tough shot, even in tight. Now here's Wheeler. Hole with the ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Mitchell, shot's good. Mitchell. Nice ball movement from Hull. Terrific at recognizing when her teammates are open. And here the Sun. Trailing by 10. Pass to Carrington. Bonner outside. Harris, guarded by Wheeler. Here's Jones. Banked in off the glass. Love the concentration from Jones on the offensive end. Really productive tonight. Boston outside. Hull. The shot that time, not on target. Good D by Dewana Bonner. And there's another one for the Sun. Once Bonner gets inside, it's already too late. She takes advantage of opportunities around the basket. 
pass to Hole. Boston. Guarded by Jones. Mitchell left side. Misses and close. Bonner outside. Here's Carrington. The shot misses. The Fever with the lead. To the inside. Wheeler with it. Mitchell outside. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Harris. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Now here's Harris. Shoots over Wheeler. Harris can't hit. Great defensive anticipation to get into the perfect spot. Mitchell, she's covered by Mitchell. Mitchell, shot's good. Kelsey Just Mitchell. a strong finish through contact. Kelsey Mitchell refusing to be out-muscled. I love to see that kind of physicality from her. And the Sun call time here. You look at Kelsey Mitchell, what a contribution. She's absolutely dialed in from outside. They got to play up on her and try to deny her the ball. The Sun on offense. And here's Harris. Pass to Jones. Mitchell. Rebounded by the Fever. Yeah, she tried to fight her way through traffic and just couldn't do it. Smith, no good. Here's Harris. The second chance effort. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Mitchell, right side. Yes, and a nice Kelsey assist Mitchell. from Erica Wheeler. Well, they've built this lead through plays exactly like that. She's easily been the most consistent performer. No question about that. I mean, she's just hitting everything in sight. Now here's Harris. Just five to shoot. With nobody on her, she buries the jump. Well, it's obvious that Harris doesn't lack confidence, guys, especially when it comes to shooting the ball. With the teardrop, and Wheeler finishes inside. The teardrop is one of those, oh no, oh no, oh yes, shots. Pass to Carrington. Jones. Here's Mitchell, and stolen by Boston. Here's Smith. And she drops in the layup Smith. off glass. What muscle from Smith, able to push away the defense and still score. Now Harris. Now here's Carrington. 
laid in with a nice two touch off the glass. Those two points, almost a sure thing when they're able to get the ball inside to that position. Wheeler with it. Pass to Samuelson. Yes, and a nice nice assist Samuelson. from Erica Wheeler. One of the purest strokes in the game. Samuelson, a feared player from beyond the arc. Time and the Sun the call time here. You look at Kelsey Mitchell, what a contribution. She continues to burn them with her scoring. The coaching staff is going to have to come up with a different the defensive Lava approach. Let's see who's the lavest. There's the steal. Here's Samuelson, covered by Harris. Smith outside. Pass to Mitchell. Samuelson, covered by Harris. Four on the clock. Outside Wheeler. Shoots over Bonner. And off the there left side of the rim, and it swirls in. Don't let Wheeler catch you out of position defensively. If she gets a clean look, she's firing. Two minutes. And here's Carrington. Now indoor fall. Covered by Smith. And here's indoor fall. Pass to Harris. The three is up. Offensive rebound. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Uh, scoops up the board. Joe knows exactly what to do. Put it back in. Mitchell, right side. Now here's Smith. And our ball with the rebound. Out to the wing. Here's Harris. It's hauled in by Wheeler. To the middle. Here's Smith. The bank shot, no good. Pass to Harris. Tipped away. Now here's Mitchell. Guarded closely. Samuelson. Over to the left wing. Here's Wheeler. And out of bounds, the Sun will take it. That is such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game. The Fever making a switch here. Now here's Jefferson. Guarded by Wallace. Jefferson, no good. Indiana with the ball. Here's the teardrop. Samuelson, shot is off. Shot clock and game clock, one second differential. Bantam lays it up and banks it in. Yeah, late reaction for the defense. She's always going to convert that. And it's the fever ball. 11-point game. Here's Berger. And 
and so it's the Fever taking care of business That's in this one. And in the end, a comfortable win in a pretty hostile environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road. They didn't have too many problems tonight. And that's a wrap, everyone.